what's going on so here's a throwback video that I never really got around to posting but i'm gonna be talking about the essential exercise known as the dip some people call this the upper body squat and i don't necessarily agree but i think that is a great mass build overall so i'm gonna be comparing the chest dip versus the tricep dip and yes there is a difference all dips work the chest and triceps but i'm gonna show you how to emphasize some areas a bit more so let's start off with the chest dip you're gonna grab a slightly wider grip now I'm going to lean forward on my torso and I'm also going to put my legs more forward. What this is going to do is that it's going to shift more of the weight onto my chest. And I'm also engaging my chest a lot more with the horizontal adduction movement. So kind of like you're doing a pec deck, you want your hands to actively try to touch each other even though they can't. So it's isometric, but the intention is there and you're squeezing your pecs the whole time. You're keeping constant tension. Notice how I'm not locking out the top for the most part. This is all pec. And you're going to feel a lot more in the pec, especially if you're starting to use weights added to the dip belt, and especially if you're using higher reps. So this is a great way to do the chest emphasize dip. Now, when it comes to the triceps, it's pretty much the opposite. Instead of going super wide, you want to go as close as possible. If you happen to have a V bar, grab really close to the end of the V so you could really get those triceps engaged. Okay. Now, the torso is very upright for the most part, and the legs are actually back. So I'm squeezing my glutes, squeezing my hamstrings. I'm trying to keep that maintained position with my legs so I'm not shifting all over the place. And the torso is a lot more upright. So when you do it in this fashion, you feel a lot more in the triceps. You don't have to go super deep, but you should feel in the triceps. The head is neutral, I'm just looking forward. And obviously you want to get a great squeeze in the triceps as well. And like I mentioned before, if you're able to do this with some weights attached to the dip belt for higher reps, it is going to generate some results. So let me, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. How do you do your dips? And with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode.